we are asked to determine the domain of each function using interval notation. The first function is f of x equals one divided by the quantity five minus two x. Looking at the graph of the basic natural function y equals one divided by x, notice how zero is not included in the domain because division by zero is undefined. So to find the domain of a rational function, we set the denominator equal to zero and solve for x. This gives us the values of x that give us division by zero, which is undefined, and therefore we exclude the values that make the denominator equal to zero. So to find the domain, we begin by setting five minus two x equal to zero and solving for x. We subtract five on both sides, which gives us negative two x equals negative five, and then divide both sides by negative two. Simplifying, we have x equals five halves which means when x is equal to five halves, the denominator is zero, and we have division by zero, which is undefined. And therefore, the domain is all real numbers except five halves. So for the next step, let's graph the domain, all real numbers except five halves. So let's say five halves is here. To exclude five halves, we would have an open point or open circle on five halves, and an arrow to the right approaching positive infinity, as well as an arrow to the left approaching negative infinity. Which means the domain using interval notation is the open interval from negative infinity to five halves, union the open interval from five halves to infinity. Our next function is a square root function. We have f of x equals the square root of the quantity five minus two x. Looking at the basic square root function below, we know the radicand, or in this case x, cannot be negative which means the domain is x greater than or equal to zero, which we see here expressed using interval notation. So to find the domain of a square root function, we set the radicand greater than or equal to zero. So in our case, we set five minus two x greater than or equal to zero. And now we solve for x. We subtract five on both sides, giving us negative two x is greater than or equal to negative five. The next step is to divide both sides by negative two, but remember, when solving an inequality, if we multiply or divide both sides by a negative, we need to reverse the inequality. So for the next step, we do divide both sides by negative two, and then we simplify. On the left, this simplifies to just x, but we need to reverse the inequality, meaning we change it to less than or equal to, and the right side simplifies to five halves. So the domain is x less than or equal to five halves. Again, let's graph the domain. For x less than or equal to five halves, we do include five halves as part of the solution, so we have a closed point on five halves, and then an arrow to the left, where values get less than five halves. To the left, we approach negative infinity, which is the reason why the domain, using interval notation, is the interval from negative infinity to five halves. The interval is open on negative infinity and closed on five halves, so we use a bracket. This bracket indicates five halves is in the domain. Next we have f of x equals natural log of the quantity five minus two x. Looking at the graph of the basic natural log function, the value of x has to be positive, meaning x is greater than zero, which is expressed using this notation here for interval notation. So to find the domain of the given natural log function, we need to solve the inequality five minus two x greater than zero. To solve for x, we first subtract five on both sides, and then divide by negative two. And again, when multiplying or dividing by a negative, we have to reverse the inequality. So simplifying, we have x. We change the inequality to less than. On the right, we have five halves. So the domain is x less than five halves. Graphing this interval, it's just like this interval here, except we don't include five halves. So now we have an open point on five halves, an arrow to the left approaching negative infinity, which means the domain using interval notation is the open interval from negative infinity to five halves. I hope you found this helpful.